Turn now to Ukraine, where humanitarian ceasefires have collapsed amidst the war. News 9's Ashley Holden spoke to Oklahomans with family in that country. They're hoping to make it out. Ashley joins us live now with their urgent plea. Ashley. Amanda, some of the, the couple that I spoke with, some of their loved ones can't even make it out of the country, but they're just trying to make it to safety. Right now, they tell me escaping is very high risk. This is human catastrophe happening now. Lena Nesson and her husband Vassal see the shells fall and bombs drop from here in Oklahoma, watching parts of their home reduced to rubble. My grandparent village where I, when, where I spent summertime when I was kids, yeah. uh, so destroyed. So I've been seeing um, daily, like people uh, from Bucha, they're trying to get messages to the world to save them because they are dying. Her own brother trapped on the outskirts of the capital city, Kiev. Elena says his supplies are dwindling. Some of them just uh, desperate and they try to live but they own, but many people get shot dead on the way. So Elena started a petition begging the Red Cross to help those trapped in Ukraine. Why are we appealing to the Red Cross? Because um, Evacuation with the uh, Red Cross is considered m uh, m more safer than just volunteers. The International Committee of the Red Cross has posted on social media that they are trying in cities like Mariupol. For two days in a row, we have now tried to help with the evacuation of those civilians who wanted to leave the city. But ceasefires haven't been holding. The ICRC says they are ramping up efforts to deliver aid. Elena wants people to sign the petition and broadcast the urgent need. I, if I do it only from myself, it's going to be just the lost voice, so we need more and more people uh, seeing this, heard this. The couple and their church here in Oklahoma, they're actually gathering donations and supplies to send to Ukraine. If you want to donate, we're going to have more information on the News 9 app. Live in Oklahoma City, Ashley Holden, Oklahoma's own News 9.